Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I was able to create this poster inside of Affinity Studio. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the post notification. We don't have to see much. Let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is go over to File and of course click on New like this. Alright, I'm going to set my page here. First, I'm changing this to inches, not pixels. And I'm going to be using a 4x5. So 4 here and 5 here like this. So RGB 8, everything else stays the same. And I'm going to click on create document like this. So inside here, I'm going to move straight to the point. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over. I'm inside my vector studio, but I'm going to be changing from vector to pixels, right? Um, rectangle like this. I'm going to draw my rectangle like this inside here like this. All right, I'm just going to leave it at white, then remove the outline and keep in the color. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my resource file. The link to download this resource file, it's in the description of this video, guys. Check the description of this video. All right, so I'm just going to go over to my resource file here. And um, I'm going to use my image, right? All of these images you are seeing is part of the Smart Designer Premium Assets. But this particular image is in the resource file for this video, right? So if you want to get more, you get the Smart Designer Premium Assets. So I'm just going to make this bigger like this. And um, this is what I have. So I haven't done this. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to Adjustment and I'm going to click on Black and White, right? So copy my settings for this. I'm just going to go down on the reds like this and that's all i'm doing basically select the three of them ctrl g to group them all right you can name this group or you can leave it like this all right but i'm going to name my bg click enter that's all background i'm just trying to keep my workflow very very easy and um, clean i'm going to bring in this next image also part of my resource file all right so with this image, I'm going to remove the background. So you can use, if you watch my videos on how to remove background, which is inside of this playlist. But here, I'm just going to use the AI feature of Affinity Studio, removing the background like this. And it's going to get rid of the background for me. And this is what I have. So I'm going to rotate this and position this here. I'm going to click on develop next and um, increase the clarity, increase the vibrance and um, on that shadow and highlights, increase the highlights and um, bring some shadows into this image. On that detail refinement, I'm just going to click on radius and I'm going to click on amount like this, right? And click on develop just like this. Okay, you can see I've added this to the image, right? You can see how punchy it is filled with contrast. I'm going to go back to adjustment layer. This time I'm going to go back to HS Hell as um, hue, saturation and light. So I'm just going to reduce the saturation and luminosity, please. Hue, saturation and luminosity. So and um, I'm going to create a mask for this. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select invert mask, right? So your mask inverted, I'm going to go to the Pixel Studio, right? And I'm going to select the brush, Paint Brush Tool, right? And I'm going to make sure my foreground color is white. Yeah, so I'm just going to start white. I'm going to start painting. Now, use my brush settings, right? I talked about this in my last video where I did a composition use my brush settings for this i'm going to get rid of this part also and um yeah drag it inside of the layer and um let me open this up make sure you're working on the mask and conceal this part also easy peasy okay so when you're done 
I'm going to go over to my SS file and I'm going to bring in this image. This is the next image. I'm just basically going to repeat the same process I did for the first image. So remove the background first. That's the first thing I'm going to do. As you can see, the background is gone. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to okay let me mask this before i get back to that image so i'm going to invert the mask or better still i'm going to leave it like this still on the mask i'm going to make sure my foreground color is set to black and i'm going to increase the size of my brush and i'm going to conceal these areas like this just to have a good blend between the image and the background Right, I'm going back to the Vector Studio. Now select this particular image and I'm going to repeat the same step I did for the first image. Click on Develop and um, I'm going to turn up the Refine. And I'm going to increase the clarity like this and also the contrast, just basically copy my settings. And when you're done, click on develop like this and you can see the image has contrast and is now punchy. So the next thing I'm going to do, same process, HSL like this. And I'm going to turn this down, minus 100. And click out, drag this on top of this to create a clear mask like this and open it up and click on the mask right click on the mask and invert mask so i'm just going to use my brush to paint the effect to the image so switching over to the pixel studio i'm just going to reduce the size of my brush and i'm just going to go over the areas where i have the skin and leave the other part out of it okay so uh, we've gotten rid of those parts switch back to the vector studio like this and um, you can see we have our two images ready so let's do more. Create a new layer here. Make sure it's on top of this. Let me close this so that we don't have any complications. So make sure it's on top of this. Create a new layer on top of this layer here. And um, with this, I'm just going to go over to my Pixel Studio again. And click on the pen brush. Make sure your color you're selecting is white. And paint in the colors here right and i'm going to add another light here just like this but i'm going to take this image down like this down like this and i'm going to leave it here okay Create another new layer and um, reduce the size of your brush. And I'm going to add another one here like this. So you have two lights currently, right? Filled with white colors with your brush. So the next thing I'd like to do is make sure you're on the topmost layer. Select this image here. Drag and drop inside like this. All right. Position them here like this. And um, click on this and click on Gaussian Blur like this. And uh, increase this radius. Right. 
Make sure you are selecting the layer itself and change the blend mode to screen. Like this. And I'm just going to move this in place. I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this. Ctrl J. And I'm going to zoom out. On the bottom here, I'm going to rotate this like this. I'm just going to move this in place. And... Um, Click out when you're done. Reduce the opacity of this one. And also the opacity of this one here. Click on adjustments and click on curves. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit to add a little bit of contrast to the entire image. I'm going to go over to my texts and I'm going to type a couple of things. And of course, when it comes to the text, I know some of you are having issues with the text and uh, this frame. Now to get rid of it, go over to, you can see this frame, even though you click out, it still remains there. So to get rid of this, go over to view and make sure preview mode is turned on. You can see it's no longer there again, right? This is how you can get rid of that. So I have my text. And I have, I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm just going to write the name here, make it smaller and um, click on character and I'm going to space this out like this. This is what I have. Okay. I'm going to move this downwards and um, basically that's all. That's all and make it smaller. And if you've gained something valuable from this video, right, make sure you like this video and above all, make sure you share and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't get to miss any of the videos I'll be dropping in time from now. And the Smart Designer Premium Asset is still very much available. You can click the link in the description of this video to get it, right? So these are some of the things that you'll be getting inside of the Smart Designer Premium Asset. With over 1,000 premium fonts, over 100 high-quality PSD flyer templates. Over 700 icons. Over 3,000 premium stock photos, 3,000 plus high-resolution backgrounds. 1,000 plus 3D and PNG assets. Editable PSD templates and lots more. If you're a creative designer, UI, UX, or web designer, the Smart Designer's graphics assets will make your life much more easier.